Welcome to Elevate Care. I'm your host, Carrie Perez, and I'm joined here today with Lior Westbrook, who is president of our Workforce Strategy Optimization Solutions team. Lior, welcome to the show. Thank you, Carrie. It's wonderful to be here. Awesome. Well, tell us a little bit about you. Sure. So I am the leader of our Workforce Strategy and Optimization business here at AMN Healthcare and really positioned to support sustainable workforce at an enterprise level across our health system partners, acute and beyond. Excellent. So tell us a little bit more about what actually workforce strategy optimization is in your own words. That's a loaded question. (laughs) (laughs) You know, really at the core of it, it's harnessing your workforce at that enterprise level that I mentioned and delivering your clinicians to the highest point or need of care and being able to leverage that workforce differently. We can talk a little bit more about some of the specific strategies behind that, but at its essence is providing our clinicians and their employers, our health system partners, greater flexibility with their workforce and the opportunity to really predict the need in advance, saving a lot by way of resources because of that predictive model. Excellent. So a client comes to you when they're in need of what? Oh, goodness. Largely what we've seen, and this should be no surprise, is how do I manage my workforce better, right? And that that has been multi-layered, but one of the prime areas is reducing cost, understanding where that workforce needs to be. And that has so many underlying clinician satisfaction components. And additionally, it's how do we retain our employees, help them thrive and create the workplace that they want to develop their careers and stay long term. And so we have implemented a number of strategies, but it always starts with understanding where our clients are today. And so we do an in-depth assessment. We do a workforce operational assessment as well as a workforce review. And that allows us to see what are the practices to the actual policies, as well as how they're staffing their organization today and what structures and governances are really lending to the most effective optimization of that workforce. And so it's really coming to the table with an understanding of where our clients are and then partnering with them to say, what are those critical success factors? We talk about key performance indicators that they want to manage their progress to going forward. Mm -hmm. Uh, Diving in a little bit, what are some of those key performance indicators that they're looking for? Oh, I love that question. There are a number. We are looking at, yes, cost of labor, right? And that is both core and contingent. That's a key piece. We're looking at the overall productivity of the resources. We're looking at leakage as well as retention rates, attrition rates, Mm -hmm. and where and how those are happening because those can be very telling signs of opportunities in which we can partner further with them. And what's interesting is the assessments that I mentioned, those KPIs feed directly into the workforce predictive analytics that we provide. And we actually offer a very cutting edge workforce planning dashboard. And this has been incredibly enhanced and it will continue to transform through the voice of our customers. We offer that platform web-based via Power BI. And those KPIs are there, but they're also operational as well as financial. So depending upon the stakeholder, they can toggle within those views. And it can be very powerful to understand, again, at that enterprise level, how they're trending across those KPIs. Uh, So a lot of data at their fingertips. And you mentioned enterprise. Who are your clients? What what makes a um, a good fit for a client to utilize uh, WSO services? Really, it's a client that's looking for a partner because this is a journey. It is not a race. And some of our clients have been with us for, gosh, going on close to two decades now. And their workforce transformation strategies are continuing to evolve. Mm -hmm. And so we work, as I mentioned, in the acute and post-acute space, 
across multiple service lines from small to large health systems, tightly consolidated to a loose confederation. And it's, it's again, really being able to partner with that client. And it takes trust. It takes trust to believe in the data that we are analyzing together, the KPIs that we are arriving to together, and then managing those along the path very tightly to say, this is where we are, this is where we need to go. And we understand that trust is earned, it's not given. And so in our working closely with our client partners and their cross-functional stakeholders, we're really able to understand what matters to them and what those opportunities are and work at the pace that their organization can permit. Mm -hmm. And so much of that, carry is driven through change management. And so we have change practitioners, myself included, that can really help to drive that sustainable path forward, communication, stakeholder, socialization, buy-in. And it's, as I mentioned, again, a, a journey, not a race. And it looks different for every client. And there's no two strategies that are the same. Mm -hmm. So very tailored solutions. Yes. So what I'm really proud of at AMN is that um, predictive analytics, says we've had that as a solution for how many years? Oh, goodness. Uh, decades Decades, now. yeah. Yes. And, you know, it's definitely a hot topic all over the place now because of, you know, cost constraints. Mm -hmm. Why else is it maybe so important to, to clients? And are you hearing any different needs as they're coming to you? Absolutely. Well, there's so many systems. There's so much data. It's very difficult to know what to look at and when. And what we can bring through a multitude of valuable feeds, help them to see that enterprise view. And I think really filtering it into that mutually agreed upon KPI landscape helps to translate that. You know, it's, it's not a new concept, but our workforce has evolved and our workforce is looking for more. They want greater options. They want at the same time to be able to flex and grow and have a workplace that really engenders that development mm -hmm. and ability to thrive. And so through that data, we can predict to 98% accuracy, 60 days out, where a clinician needs to be and when. And that allows for our clinicians, in addition to the multi-layered staffing strategies that we provide, opportunities to really drive their career as well as get new exposure in areas that interest them or they're passionate about. Mm -hmm. So many uh, great benefits. Do you by chance have an off-the-cuff sort of success story or, or metric? Goodness. I would say where we see the greatest success stories is in the voice of our clinicians. They always are our biggest advocate. And it's funny because Yes, word gets out when you're doing great things, but so much of our new clients are often from, have left health systems, moved to another role, and they've used our solutions, and they become evangelists or advocates for it because they know it works. And so that's the real special piece for me is the opportunity to continue to grow and work with these leaders. And being able to drive that clinician satisfaction, which directly translates into retention. Mm -hmm. Those are the biggest, I think, um, heart, well, heart fulfilling moments for me. Yes, we're going to save on the labor costs, absolutely, and help drive their other strategic priorities forward. But at the end of the day, our clinicians are the heart of everything that we do for care delivery. And if we can satisfy them, it's only going to lend itself to a better overall patient experience. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're actually all here to do. Right. Yes. So in closing, is there anything that we didn't cover that you'd like to, or maybe one key takeaway you want our listeners and viewers to have? Oh, goodness. You know, I would say that, again, the workforce optimization is a journey, and it looks different for everyone. And our ability to partner and really understand where 
our clients are and map that path for them to where they want to go, starting with the data is so powerful Mm -hmm. and really being able to create those benchmarks to monitor success and overall progression of that journey. And I'm just so excited to continue to partner with our health systems and new and different ways through our analytics to give them the ability to forecast and strategically optimize their workforce. Such a great solution that is getting appropriate airtime and in the spotlight right now. Leora, thank you so much. And thank you to AMN Healthcare for sponsoring Elevate Care. And we will see you next time. Thanks, Carrie. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today on Elevate Care. If you found this episode valuable, please consider sharing it with a colleague and subscribing to our show on your favorite podcast platform. You can learn more about this episode and our show on our website at amnhealthcare.com. And follow us on social media to stay updated on new episodes and the ever-changing world of healthcare.